Throughout this NADOC week, there are many, many people, many, many organizations that are taking notice and celebrating NADOC in their own way. Right now, I've got Steve Renouf, the rugby league legend, who is also the consumer advocate for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander champion and the co-chair of the Reconciliation Working Group to talk more about the Australian Digital Health Agency. On the phone with me now, Steve, thank you so much for your time. Oh, thank you for having me on. Mate, before we go into this, I've got to uh, State of Origin coming up. It's round two in Sydney. What's your pick? Look, obviously I'm going to be advised and go for Queensland. I think origin is origin and you've got to take it game by game. So um, it's very much like that. We, we won the first one by four. I, I, I think it'll be tight again, uh, but I think we can win the series with a, with a two-point win. There you go. Okay, I'll keep you with that because this is something different, state of origin this time around at the end of the season and it's each week so that they don't really have a time to have a break. Yeah, exactly, and that, that's just how the year's been, hasn't it? And um, you know, we were, we were fortunate enough that we got we got a a, a season out of the NRL, um, which you know a lot of good work was done there, and um, also you know by the rugby league and by our state government. Um, so, but then also uh, now to get an Origin, who would have thought? Um, let alone playing at this time of the season, but we actually got an Origin series. Um, anyway, you know, so that, I think that's a bonus. It certainly is, and you reckon Queensland by two. Okay, I'll hold you to that, and if you get that, I'll <laughs> shout you a drink. <laughs> Great. <laughs> but we're also talking because we are in the middle of NADOC Week 2020, always was, always will be. Now, the agency that you are involved with, which is Australian Digital Health, I understand they've joined up with a reconciliation action plan with other agencies. What's that all about? Yeah, so what, what's happened, we, we've been working on, on our agency's uh, digital health agency between our Brisbane office, um, head office in Canberra and Sydney. Um, and uh, two years ago, um, you know, we decided, uh, you know, we've we got to deliver this digital health across the country and, uh, and the My Health Record. On, and we saw as a priority um, that we need to somehow engage with the Aboriginal Torres Strait Islander community across the country and engage them to, to to take them through the journey with this. I mean, um, you know, and, and, and educate and, and just just to let people know, and from this is my role as consumer advocate, that it is a good thing and um, just to reassure them that it is safe and that um, there's a lot of benefits in, in our people being on the My Health Record. And, and what we've done there is we, we've launched a, a reconciliation action plan, which we launched yesterday. Um, uh, so we did get to launch that yesterday as an organisation, and uh, now it's now gone live. So that now makes us responsible uh, for delivery of everything we got in that um, action plan. Um, to deliver uh, to to our, our people of Australia. And as you just said then, the people of Australia, this isn't just for the uh, Indigenous peoples on the Cape or in the Gulf. This is one for the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people living right across Australia, wherever they are. Yeah, and that, that's right. You know, the, the Digital, Health, uh, Digital Health Agency was formed uh, a few years ago to implement the My Health Record, and um, so it is a federal government body, which which comes straight out of uh, responsibility of our federal health minister Greg Hunt. So, you know, it's, it's a pretty important um, initiative that we we got to deliver. And and look, um, you, we obviously we want to make sure we did the right thing uh, for our mob across the country, and that's why we launched our rap yesterday. And, of course, it's not only just with that, it's with the other organisations that you were with. I mean, it looks like the combined, you've adopted also the procurement policy for the Commonwealth Indigenous uh, Agency, and you've also broadened the supply chain to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander and social enterprises. So this is an all-encompassing thing that you and these other uh, health groups are doing. Yeah, without a doubt, and, and that's the thing. I mean, it, when you when you look at, at a, a, a rap. A reconciliation action plan. There's there's so much other things that can come uh, in amongst that, and you partner with, and and obviously those are you know supply nation and and companies like that, and um, these are indigenous run companies. So you know it, it's all about working in. Um, so you know with our procurement, um, we got to look towards that side of things, and that's a big part of what 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 we do, and it's probably a small part of what the greater app is. Yeah, to be honest. 
So it's something that we'll be seeing more involvement with Aboriginal and Islander people from this formation of the network. Now, I believe it's something like 1,100 uh, different organisations and not-for-profit private groups and everything else. That's a big mob. Yeah, well, it is. You know, we, we, we've got to support, um, you know, we've got our nachos and, and all our, uh, our across the country. So uh, this is all incumbent so we can deliver better for them, obviously. And, um, you know, we um, do consult uh, with organisations across the country and, and that's what needs to be done as, as a federal government agency. Yeah, with something like this, as I said, it's really just getting improvement of health services where they are needed because too many times we have people falling to the cracks. Well, that, that's right. And it's, um, you know, it, it's around, you know, once we, we can get to the communities, we educate them on the My Health Record. And, and obviously there's other things attached to that, you know, um, is e-prescription. And um, so uh, these are other deliverables out of this. And, and it just going to make um, Aboriginal Torres Strait Islander health care a lot more, um, uh, you know, accessible and easier uh, for our people to, to access. Now, Steve, just before we finish up, it's one thing that I have been asking everybody this week, and I'd like to ask your thoughts on NAIDOC. What does it mean to you? Well, NAIDOC means to me is obviously the celebration of what um, our people have have done over all the years here in Australia and um, you know when we think about that you know we, we think about you know I, I think of my dad and people that come before him and, and what what they did you know way back in the day for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander uh, rights um, you know my dad was in the mix of that and, um, and other people obviously across the country but it's about celebrating those those positive things, and and that's the thing. It, it, it's always you, you go back in the past, and it always seems to be when we talked about Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander issues, it was a negative. And this is why NAIDOC Week is so good because we can celebrate the positive and and take that forward, and, we, and educate the rest of the country around. You know, um, it, there's more positives happening in our community than are negative, and, and we, we need to realise that and take them and move forward. And such a diverse culture, over 150 languages were spoken before uh, the coming of the European. Yeah, exactly. And, that, and that's the thing. There's a lot of people um, don't actually understand that. And that, that's all about it as well. It's about, you know, we, you, you sort of try and bring uh, the rest of the population along with that. And um, as, a, as you just mentioned there with that, that language group and, and the mob across the country, you know, it, there's a lot of people who just don't know the you know the how rich our, our culture is and uh, you know when I, I could say it was but it still is and across the country and um, you know people would be amazing I've been fortunate enough I've, I've been out uh, you know I've been up up to East Island and I've been out to you know Central Australia and a lot of our people have and and when they do they just go wow it, it's just amazing how rich the culture is. Steve Renouf, thank you so much for your words and also thank you for letting us know about the Australian Digital Health. No worries. Thank you for having me. I appreciate thank, it. Thank you. Steve Renouf, a rugby league legend and also a digital health advocate.